Hi guys, yasas, ke kalos tirsate, which means hello and welcome in Greek to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a Greek style spatchcocked chicken. If you've never had a spatchcocked chicken or if you've never done that before, basically we just take out the spine of the chicken, the backbone of the chicken, so that way it can lay flat. It bakes much faster than baking a whole chicken. It stays nice and juicy and the skin gets perfectly crisp. It is also great for grilling. So you can take this chicken with the same exact marinade and cook it on the grill. Of course, you're going to have to keep an eye on it, so it does require more hands-on time. But today we're going to cook it in the oven in a cast iron skillet, which is my favorite way to do it. Let's get started. So it all starts off with a whole chicken and we're just going to spatchcock it. So the easiest way to do this is using kitchen scissors, but I don't have a really good strong pair, so I'm going to use a sharp knife. So you want to take the chicken and turn it around so it's breast side down. And then you take a sharp knife and you start to cut down from where the thigh and the spine connect very carefully. Now you want to go down where the breastbone connects and press down on your knife until you hear that cracking sound and press it down with your hands. Actually do it breast side up so that way you don't stab yourself. And then you can take this backbone and save it in a freezer safe bag and use it in stocks and soups. So that is how you spatchcock a chicken. Now that you learn this technique, you're going to be doing this over and over again. It is just that simple and it's actually even easier if you have a really nice sharp kitchen, uh, kitchen scissor or poultry scissor. So I'm going to set that aside because now I'm going to get the marinade ready. Now this is the same marinade that I used to make my lemony chicken because you know how the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm going to add two, the juice of two lemons in here. And you always roll your lemons to get that juice going. I've also heard that putting them in the microwave for a few seconds also gets maximum juiciness. <laughs> I've never tried it. So I'm going to get all this juice out of these two lemons into this bowl. All you really need is a quarter cup, but I like my chicken extra lemony, so I did put a little bit more. You can start with a quarter cup and add more if you want. Next, we're going to need some grated garlic. Now, I grated all of the garlic that I had because I didn't want it to go to waste, so I'm just going to eyeball it. And I also like my chicken garlicky, so I'm going to put a whole teaspoon of grated garlic in here, and you can put as much or as little as you want. And then we're going to need some uh, olive oil, so I'm going to use about a quarter cup or so. Mix it all together and I'm just going to pour this over the chicken. And I'm just going to make sure that the marinade goes on both sides. Last, we're going to put the spices on top. So over here I have some salt. You need plenty of salt for a juicy, flavorful chicken. Some freshly cracked black pepper, a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. This is some sweet paprika, some dried cumin, and some dried oregano. So I'm only going to pick up the dried oregano first and just, just crumble it like this over the chicken to crumble it and to release its oils. Then I'm going to take all of the rest of these spices and just mix them together in my hands. And I'm going to season both sides of the chicken with this. And at this point, it is best to put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for two, three hours, even four hours. The longer you let it marinate, the more flavorful it is going to be. But I have made this many times when I needed to get dinner on the table really quickly in under an hour, and it comes out super flavorful. So I'm going to transfer it into my cast iron skillet, and I'm going to make sure that I don't waste any of this flavor. So all that's left is an onion. I'm going to quarter an onion. First, I'm going to peel it. And now it's ready for the oven. The oven is preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to bake this on the center rack for between 50 minutes to an hour. You'll know it's ready once the thermometer is inserted into the thickest part of the thigh and it reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. If it reaches that temperature and it's still not golden enough and the skin isn't crispy, I like the skin to be more towards the golden brown so it's really nice and crispy. What you can do is you could raise the temperature for the last 5-10 minutes so that we could get a really nice crisp on top or you can carefully turn on the broiler and keep a close eye on it and the second it gets nice and crispy take it out. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's ready. In the meantime I'm also going to cut up some potatoes, some lemony potatoes. I'll put that recipe up here so you can follow it. They're my lemony roasted potatoes. If you, did, if you wanted to cook it all in one pan it takes the same amount of time so you could definitely put it 
in a half sheet in a baking pan or a sheet pan and put the potatoes around, season those two with some salt, pepper, oregano. I have all the measurements in the recipe and then you could put it in the oven in the sheet pan with the chicken all together and it'll bake at the same time. That is an option. You could throw some more vegetables in there. I'll show you what the chicken looks like as soon as it comes out. So my chicken was ready in right under an hour. At about 50, 55 minutes, it was done. I did turn on the broiler element for the last few minutes so it can get really nice and deep golden and brown. And then I took it out and you wanna let it rest for at least 10 minutes before you serve it so that way the juices can redistribute. Distribute. You're gonna see that it's, it's gonna have created a really nice sauce on the bottom. Side by side, I did roast some potatoes. Really, I followed my lemony potato recipe and I'll post it up here in the card section so that way you can make some too. But you can certainly serve this with some Mediterranean rice pilaf, a salad, tzatziki. You can use any of my salad recipes to serve on the side. They would all taste good. My mouth is watering. It is time to take a bite. And if the thigh, bone, if the thigh piece detaches easily, you know it's done. Mmm. So juicy, so much flavor. The whole thing is so delicious. I really, I really also love the onions that cook side by side. They release their juices and flavor the sauce. I think you guys are gonna love this. The recipe is underneath the description box down below. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section and if you have any recipe requests that you wanna learn how to make, post them down below. If you wanna learn how to make more chicken recipes, click on this playlist right here and I will see you right over there. Yes, 